and welcome to video 28, the exam questions for AQA Unit 3, Higher, on Transformations. As always, pause the video, have a go, and then mark your work. Okay, it says, here's a triangle drawn in the grid, translate the vector by minus 2, 3. Translate means move the vector, um, the top number is always the x number and the bottom number is the y. x says how far right or left, y says how far up or down. Minus 2, 3 means 2 left, 3 up. The way to always do it, pick a corner, anyone you want. If you go 2 left and 3 up, that corner will then be there. Now you can just draw in your shape because all the other corners must move in the same way. That shape would then be there. Okay, or you could do each of the corners, so from that corner, go 1, 2, back, 1, 2, 3, up, and 1, 2, back, 1, 2, 3, up. But no need. You, once you've got one corner sorted, the others fall in line. Easy, easy two marks. Next question, pause the video, have a go, mark your work. It says PQRS is drawn in the centimetre grid, enlarge it by scale factor 3 using the point marked A as the centre of enlargement. This is where everything is in reference to. The way I usually do these, I mark out my scale factor 3, and what I do is I count squares from the centre to a corner, and then multiply that by the scale factor, and then get in my first corner. So, let me show you. P is 1 across and 1 up from the centre. So with a scale factor of 3, the new shape would be 3 across, 1, 2, 3, and 3 up, 1, 2, 3. That would be the new P, which I might call P dash. Now you can do the same with S, Q, R, and S uh, if you wanted. So you could just go, that's 4 across and 1 up, so it must be 12 across, 4, 8, 12, and 3 up, so it'd be somewhere like there. The way I tend to do it, and then mark that out similarly, the way I tend to do it is now I know what my shape looks like. Once I've got one corner sorted, okay, this shape is three across, so this shape must be uh, nine across, so three, six, nine. This shape is two up, so this must be six up, three, six. Okay, that would be my new Q, and this from the S is one up, so it would be three up. That would be my new R. Okay, and then I would just draw in the lines. Okay, uh, you draw it neater than me, but basically it looks something like that. Okay, and there's the enlargement. Easy. Again, three marks, and that's extremely easy. Next question, pause the video, have a go, mark your work, and make corrections if needed. Okay, it says draw the reflection of T in the line X is 1. First, draw the line X is 1. This is the line X is 1 because all the coordinates along that line are 1. X is equal to 1. I, that's a bit thick, actually. Let me just uh, make that a bit thinner so you can see that that's line X is 1. Now, reflect that shape T. The way I do it, I count uh, each corner from the mirror line, the perpendicular distance. That's one square, this one will be one square this side. This is one, two squares, this will be one, two squares that side. This one is one, two, three, four, five squares from the mirror. So one, two, three, four, five squares from the mirror. And this one is one, two, three, four from the mirror. So one, two, three, four from the mirror. And I would just draw in my shape then. Nice and easy uh, for two marks there. Then it says, describe fully the single transformation that maps T onto S. That maps T onto S. Well, T can't... What are the transformations available to us? It, it could be a translation, but it isn't because the shape's been flipped in some way, so it hasn't just been moved. It's not that. Okay, is it an enlargement? No, the shape hasn't got bigger or smaller, so it's not an enlargement. Could it be... Um, a reflection of some kind. Well, we've just had a reflection. It doesn't look like it would be a reflection. It could be some. It doesn't look like I can think of a mirror line. So it must be a rotation. To get your three marks, 
you must say the word rotation for one mark, you must say the centre of rotation and how many degrees. Now the centre looks like it's zero, zero. In the exam, put a piece of tracing paper over it, put your pencil where you think the centre is and move the tracing paper accordingly to check it works. I think it's zero, zero. It looks like it's going to be so, and that would be 90, 180 degrees. So centre, zero, zero. And how much do you have to move it? Well, 180 degrees, and what direction are we going? Well, it doesn't matter, but uh, in this case, it could be clockwise or anti-clockwise, but just state it for the sake of it. Okay, and then we're done with that question. Um, and last question on, uh, no, there's two more questions on transformations. Pause the video, have a go, mark your work. Okay, what transformation gets us from B to C? It's got three marks. It's not a, tran a translation. It's not simply a movement. The shape has been flipped in some way. It doesn't look like a mirror line. If I had a mirror line there, that doesn't look like it would nicely mirror up there. Um, so it must be a rotation. Okay, so to get your three marks, say the word rotation. Okay, it looks like it's 90 degrees. That will get your second mark, and it's also clockwise. And you must state your center of enlargement here. You must state your center of enlargement. Now, the way to do it, let's just... The way to do it would always be to do the following. Imagine, put a piece of tracing paper over it. Let's just make sure we can find one of these. Put a piece of tracing paper over it. Okay, and draw out your shape. And then what you do is you're going to rotate your shape holding your pencil down at various guesses. So I might hold my pencil there and try and rotate the shape, okay, and see where it ends up, etc. But it's hard to do it on this. It turns out that the center of rotation is actually about the point. Uh, three, two. So center of rotation, three, two. Okay, so you get that by holding your pencil down and trying various combinations.